How does the YouTube algorithm work? Looking to increase your YouTube views? I can tell you that the first step in achieving this is to fully understand how the YouTube algorithm works and how to use that knowledge to grow much faster effectively. Stick around and I'll show you the latest on YouTube algorithm. Hello everyone and welcome to Grow Viral, where we concentrate on creating amazing content without any BS so that you can broaden your social networks and evolve to the online lifestyle that you want. From growing your online social media accounts to marketing secrets that no one wants to talk about. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and be the first to get notifications of our new, exciting and explosive content. Today, we are going to learn how the YouTube algorithm works. A fair amount of content creators, whether skilled YouTubers or YouTube brands, look at the YouTube algorithm as a complete secret, an ultimate power that governs their view counts, something completely outside of their control. The belief is that there's no understanding of how the YouTube algorithm works. They believe it is one of the platform's best kept secrets after all, except it isn't. In 2016, a group of Google engineers published a research paper which was used to share plans for how videos could be surfaced through YouTube's recommendation engine for better user experience. Although the research paper didn't garner much attention at the time, it bears a lot of relevance to the YouTube of today. Since according to YouTube's chief product officer, Neil Mohan, 70% of YouTube views now originate from this recommendation engine. A large chunk of the discussion about getting views on YouTube was centered on YouTube SEO, social media promotion, and getting subscribers. While these contribute to the discovery of your videos, alone, they don't unlock the lion's share of views you stand to gain from YouTube's recommendation engine, be it via YouTube homepage or recommended for you suggestions. One important detail for the algorithm is to support us by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Getting back to business, if you want to get more video views in the long term, you need to understand a few things about how the YouTube algorithm currently works. We've put together the latest information on what's going on behind the curtain at YouTube, so that your video can claim its rightful place among the 400 hours of video uploaded every minute. First, let's take a quick look at how the YouTube algorithm has evolved over the years. A Brief History of the YouTube Algorithm Before 2012, View Count up until 2012, back when users were only watching 4 billion hours of YouTube per month instead of its current 1 billion hours per day, YouTube ranked videos based on one metric, view count. The idea of this was to reward great videos and place the most popular ones in front of audience eyeballs. Instead, it created a clickbait problem. These were videos that had misleading or exaggerated titles and thumbnails so they could game the algorithm. This strategy was bad for quality, which was bad for advertisers, and consequently terrible for the platform. 2012 to 2016, view duration and session time. YouTube tweaked the algorithm to favor view duration, which is also known as watch time, and the amount of time spent on the platform overall, i.e. session time. This then led to a new wave of annoying tactics, like taking an unnecessary amount of time to deliver on a video's promise. Although to be fair, YouTube has always told people that snaky optimization practices don't guarantee anything and to focus on making good videos. This was also to reward videos that retain viewers for more extended amounts of time, which many video content creators interpreted as longer videos, though not necessarily the case. And it made creators reduce the time they spent making each video. They couldn't simply afford to make frequent high-quality labor-intensive videos that were also long. This is why it's no surprise that five of YouTube's top 10 stars in 2018 were people who recorded themselves playing video games. 2016 – Machine Learning In 2016, YouTube introduced deep neural networks and machine learning into its recommendation system. This technology was far from perfect, as YouTube has suffered some criticism in the past as a result. YouTube's algorithm was criticized by tech theorists who labeled it a misinformation engine and the great radicalizer because it regularly popped up conspiracy theories, fake news, and increasingly disturbing content to users. Some research has it that the YouTube algorithm is on the same level as Facebook's and Twitter's in creating the filter bubbles that influenced the 2016 US elections. All these have made YouTube to continuously make changes, including hiring more human moderators, removing videos flagged by watchdog journalists, and demonetizing airing channels. 2018 – Monetization Early 2018, 
brought about YouTube's monetization policy change, which reduced the number of content creators the platform had to monitor earnestly. After a couple of months, CNN reported it had found 300 notable brands, including Adidas, Cisco, Hilton and Amazon, running ads on channels promoting white supremacy, Nazis, pedophilia and other fringe content. Brands weren't safe, even if they checked the brand safe box while buying ad space. 2019 – Banning Borderline Content Early 2019, YouTube announced that its algorithm would stop recommending borderline content that could harm or seriously misinform viewers. We'll have to wait and see how effective those changes will be at pleasing advertisers. Before we continue, I'm going to appreciate you by helping us smash that like button. Without further ado, let's proceed. Now, let's look at what we know about how the algorithm works today. How does the YouTube algorithm work? YouTube makes us understand that the goals of their search and discovery system are of twofold. To help viewers find whatever videos they want to watch, and to make the most of long-term viewer engagement and delight. The algorithm has effects on all the six different places your video can surface on YouTube, which are in search results, in the recommended streams, on the YouTube homepage, in the trending streams, in channel subscriptions, in notifications. The algorithm filters recommendations. Based on the white paper released in 2016 on deep neural networks and machine learning that I mentioned earlier, we know that YouTube's algorithm, or AI if you prefer, monitors viewers' perceived fulfillment and to use that to create an addictive, personalized stream of recommendations. One neural network filters videos that are good candidates for the viewers next up based on the user's history and what similar users have watched, while a second neural network ranks videos by assigning them a score based on factors which are not entirely revealed. Although a video's newness and how frequently a channel uploads content are both mentioned. The general idea of these was not only to identify good videos, but to match viewers with videos that they want to watch. The end goal is that viewers spend as much time as possible on the platform, and as a result, get to see as many ads as possible. In 2018, research conducted by Pew concluded that YouTube viewers are directed to progressively longer and more popular videos as they spend more time on the platform. The Algorithm Ranks Search Results Although search results on YouTube are based on many confounding factors, two primary ones determine how videos are ranked. 1. How well your video's metadata, such as titles, description, keywords, suit the user's query. 2. How well your video has engaged previous users, in terms of likes, comments, and watch time. However, YouTube insists that search results are not a list of the most viewed videos for a given query. How YouTube Determines the Algorithm According to YouTube, the following user behaviors are part of what informs the algorithm's choices, which include what people watch or don't watch, known as impressions versus plays, the amount of time people spend watching your video, i.e. watch time or retention, how swiftly a video's popularity escalates or doesn't, view velocity or rate of growth, the nature of a new video and how quickly its popularity snowballs, how often a channel uploads videos, Session time, how much time people spend on the platform. Likes, dislikes, and shares. Engagement, not interested feedback. Those are nasty. All that said, bear in mind that the algorithm is complicated, ever-changing, and in numerous ways, unfathomable, especially to those of us who don't work at Google. While we go beyond in making valuable entertaining content, in our next video, we'll be sharing some tried and true best practices that can set your channel up for success. Using the algorithm to get more views. You don't want to miss out. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to watch more great content like today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.